Hello, everyone. So here we have a review of the Stargazer from Fan Home. Um, these are kind of a continuation of the models from Eagle Moss. And uh, they're the same quality. Oh, very nice. Highly detailed. Now, I got this um, last month in November, but they released the Titan in November, and um, the reason I was able to get this is because I joined the collection fairly late, and... Uh, I became a subscriber fairly late, and they they gave you the option of getting the Titan first or the Stargazer. And since I already had a model, a 1400th scale model of the Titan, and I wasn't happy with it, um, I decided to get the Stargazer first instead. So I thought I'd give you guys a little preview here. So you can see what you're getting. Sorry if this is not um, if it's not very clear. Quality on this is good. It's, I think, a little over, well, I think it's about roughly eight inches long, maybe a little longer. Um, it looks like this nacelle is slightly bent, but it's not as noticeable when you're holding it in your hand. Um, The only reason I joined the, or became a subscriber is because Fan Home has said that um, they're not going to produce models at the rate that Eagle Moss did. And so there were a few models in the collection that I definitely wanted to get, the Farragut being one of them. And so. I decided to bite the bullet and uh, get the model, or get the do the subscription. And my understanding is I, I can cancel it any time, and probably end up doing that. Yeah, it does come with the little booklet. It does come with your standard Eagle Moss stand.
a nice booklet. Would I recommend this? Um, Look, there's a different configuration for the, the cells, similar to how it was in uh, the original Stargazer was in TNG. I like the front of these nacelles, not a fan of the back. Or the middle, to be honest. But they do feel like late 24th century, you know, early 25th century. Showing you sketches for the alternate configuration. I do prefer that, that um, alternate configuration. That's it. So, yeah, um, if you're a big fan of this ship, um, you know, you're probably going to get one anyway. If you're not a fan of this ship, well, you can probably save your money. Anyway, um, thank you for watching, everyone, and uh, have a good one. Bye-bye.